Mmm. What is that? What? What's that ugly thing over there? A snake. What's a snake doing here? He's he's gonna help us. Gonna help us hack. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Python. Python. Don't be a script kitty. Write your own applications and get your hacking tools to do what you want them to do. And if there isn't a hacking tool that does what you want it to do, create your own. Now, before we continue, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. Please consider liking this video and clicking on the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. I cover a whole range of technical topics on my YouTube channel. A keylogger is a piece of software or a hardware device that logs keystrokes. The keystrokes could be saved to a file on your hard drive or it could be emailed to an attacker or simply logged to a central server on the internet as an example. Key logging isn't always malicious. It can sometimes be used by parents to track what children are doing. It's also sometimes used by employers to track what employees are doing. So to keep a log of what they get up to during the working day to make sure that they're actually working. Now we won't get into the debates about whether that's a good or bad thing. That is one of the places that key loggers are used but they can also be used for malicious purposes. A great way for an attacker or a hacker to determine what your passwords are is to log your keystrokes. So when you put your password in, a hacker can determine what your password is. In this example, I've got a Windows 10 computer and I've written a little Python script to log keystrokes. So basically what it's gonna do is keep track of any keys that are pressed on the keyboard and then it's gonna log it into a file called keylogs.txt. I'm also gonna add some logging information so that I can see the date and time of the key press. So basically, just with these few lines of code, I've created a simple key logger that can log the keystrokes on this computer. So as an example, if I double click on that, it looks like nothing's happened. But if I type a word here such as hello, and then look at the keylogs.txt file, notice there's hello and you can see the date and time of the keystrokes. That matches the date and time on this computer. If I type something else, let's type cmd, ipconfig, ping, google.com. Whatever I'm typing here is gonna get logged into this file. So there's ipconfig, I pressed enter, I typed ping, pressed spacebar, google.com, pressed enter, and then I pressed a control key. So if I press up key as an example, control C, up key again, control C, all that kind of information is logged in this key logger. So there's my up key, enter, control C was pressed, up key, enter, control C. You can see that I pressed the control key, held it down and pressed C. Okay, so there's a very basic Python key logger. Very basic, but it could be enhanced. It could be made malicious. So as an example, I could write the code to forward all the keystrokes to an email address. Now, one thing to notice about that Python script is you don't see it running. So on the Windows computer, you don't see any applications, but it's still running in the background, logging all the keystrokes. So again, we don't see the application running, but if I go to Task Manager, you'll notice that a Python process is running, and that means that if I type any commands once again, such as password one, two, three, that kind of stuff is logged in my key logs file. So scrolling down here, notice password space one, two, three. So even though the user may close everything down and they don't see the Python key logger, it's still running in the background here. It's still running and capturing all keystrokes. And you could configure it to start when the computer reboots. Now, this is running because I disabled antivirus on this computer. So if I go to manage settings and turn on real-time protection, it's not gonna allow this application to restart. So. If I try and double click on that Python script again, notice it tells me threats were found 
and I can see that the key logger application is currently active but was previously quarantined. And what it should do now is quarantine that application. So if I look at details, I can see that this program has potentially unwanted behavior and the application that it's pointing to is ctempkeys.pwy. And you'll notice that that file has been removed. So if I double click on this one as an example, it's also getting removed by the antivirus software. So it's really important that you enable your antivirus. In this example, I'm just using the Windows built-in antivirus rather than third-party antivirus. But notice it's picked up the keys.py file and has removed that. Now I could, once again, go here and allow that application. But generally, you're not going to want to do that. You're generally going to want to stop applications logging your keystrokes. Okay.